for 13, I suppose. And it's the first boat for anybody caught out like Zai is. He's going to use the boat almost immediately. See if he can get enough heals. There is going to be that boat buff to be able to help him out. They're going to pop the supernova. They go for the Reaper Scythe, go onto the Pumpa instead, and leave Zai for last. And they're going to have to dive him underneath the tower. Jirachi is pretty sped up here. Mickey's trying to help him out with the Stampede. He's going to run over Zai. And they finish him off and run through all of this. Deadshot going to miss from Tofu. And now Nisha starts putting some damage back onto Gaming Gladiators. With Boxy coming in from behind. At the same time, I feel like it is kind of a single core lineup where they've got two big percentage-based damage dealers on Game of Gladiators. Tofu, he'll deal with that war. Tornado is going to catch a mid stampede. A bit unfortunate there, but it looks like they're going to try and catch the better stop. They got him from behind. A shows up, and Insania, there's no way he can do enough heals to outdo the hard. He shows up. Again, Insania's behind him with the heal, but it's just not enough, man. Way too much damage. And again, it means Insania, because he couldn't heal up his core enough, his core dies, and so will he. And this was looking to respond. They brought Mickey. They brought Yule Scepter to hold Zai in place. Quinn, Spear Vessel put onto him. They have the Torn Storm, but he gets away thanks to the Shard. But they do manage to pick off that support. Tofu goes down, and they back away. They check for high ground vision. It's not there. Taraccio, he's actually cutting, cut in from behind. Zai's already so low. The boat's coming in trying to help him out. But I don't think Liquid can really fight this anymore. Too many heroes from Game of Gladiators. And yeah, they're going to be losing two off this one. Godlike spree for Quinn. He, the man is just absolutely untouchable. And Duraccio, his aggression is Very off potentially here as he's going in so deep. Oh no, that's too much, Duraccio. They will maybe still catch Nisha. Yes. It's just too, it's too much Ubis, right? You think you're too tanky. You think you have too much region. But the BKB timing and the vessel's doing work here. And now they're going to drag you back in gaming. Full celery out of position. Game is crumbling for he them comes very back down fast. To the tornado into the Sunstrike. Pops before he can use the Supernova. All it takes is one bad torrent to ruin your day here. As Zai has just turned this game around, and now all of a sudden you're facing down the barrel of a Luna with Aegis Butterfly. Even if that second life is gone in 50 seconds, he will have additionally a second life thanks to Satanic. You gotta wear through this. You're looking down the second lane potentially. I mean, Mickey is just taking names right here plus Sunstrikes. Oh, and a man dodge! Stops Ace entirely from getting that initiation. Nice, Torrent into Cataclysm, a beautiful setup, and that's going to be Ace going down with no oh fly my. And Mickey sees his opportunity now to be able to hit the Tier 4. It's Gaming Gladiators back away, so the drone is going to be that exposed. Rawatio tries to come in, sliced and diced by the Glaze. No contest whatsoever. They can take down anybody they want on the side of Gaming Gladiators. And take it at 43, chasing after him. Slow him down, immediately got entangled, but he did have that illusion and quickly dispels that. Rolling Thunder on its way, the big ball. It's Nisha once, twice. Ravage, though, on the side, though. No follow-up to this Rolling Thunder. Quinn's going to be left alone now as he's caught in the X. That magic immunity will not last forever, and he's pulled back into his death. Magic damage coming in. It's too much. Look for Mickey mid, get some mana burn. Quinn again diving very deep. Rolling Thunder gets off, but he's already at half health. He's gonna have to run away, especially with Nisha showing himself on a double damage. Nice dead shot to keep him away. They wanna make sure the X marks the spot, doesn't hit that Pango and get him pulled back after the Rolling Thunder. Instead, it hits Celery, but immediately pops the Supernova, and they're actually kind of in a bad position here. The Torrent Storm does well, and that's gonna help behind. that shot. Push him back into the silence. Quinn's trying to limp away. That double damage is dangerous, but he doesn't have the attack speed to get the... The Lone Drew pace versus the Tide Hunter to the fights. Slink gets disabled. He is tanky, though. Making his way back to the Tier 2. Nisha's here on top of that one. He's gonna throw on... Oh, what a hit! It hit what a hit! Oh. With the ball the bone isn't enough first damage, though. It's not quite enough. They need a little bit more. The heals start coming in on Denise, so they prioritize keeping people alive. While Zai jumps forward to try and finish up this bear and the bigger bear. Quinn rolling interception, trying to stop these heroes from pushing in, but they kill the bear and the big one, and they both go down together. Game and Gladiators will lose both their supports and exactly. Tidal Wave trying to pull Jirachi out of position. Almost got him, but he pushed a little bit over to the side instead. Harpoon pulling in the Kunkka. It's now committed Quinn rolling. Follow this one up. He has no BKB, you gotta yeah, remember. Yeah, there's gonna be Nisha dying straight up immediately. Now Liquid left at a four versus oh, five. Oh, they He's gonna stand his ground, but Quinn, what a hit on through with a swashbuckle almost finishing up. The Radiant's gonna run down Mickey on his first life. He's gonna come back and there's nobody left alive. No absolute cast. disaster. Weber of Liquid, they are absolutely gonna be losing four here and absolutely nothing claimed on the side of Liquid. Helped out by the supports. They have the anchor on Quinn. 
But they don't feel good about taking this one, especially with Duracho getting right in the middle of them with his BKB. This they want the club still, and Mickey is actually okay with fighting this one for now, but they retreat. Yeah, but look at Ace. BKB. Look at Ace in the back. Away. And yeah, Ace sees his opportunity. He's going to be able to catch up to Mickey. Ace long down the towards Storm, trying to help him out. Another four staff, but he won't get far enough away. The carry of Liquid is dead for 60 seconds, and they're on the run now. Down. Duracho, he is just going to run in. He's Man, does not give a damn. Ravage, or and they burst him down in time. The Rolling Thunder is going to try and stop things. And Duracho gets off his PKB. Now he's going to be able to fight back. Mickey forcing forward, trying to put the damage onto Duracho. But underneath the Supernova, the Dragon Side back into it. And Mickey has to start running. Away, but the Bear is on the other side. Clean it house. Sandwiches Liquid in this. And they are done for in this fight. They cannot stop the Bear. Liquid. Another aggressive engagement from them. Another. You need a good rabbit jump on support. And he gets the initiation. Phoenix. It's just the Phoenix and maybe that low druid. Got it. Backlight still got up the supernova. And now comes the rolling thunder. The, the, yeah, the egg dies. But are you going to be able to fight this one? Once again, they're trying to kite out this BKB of Mickey. Sorachio's in deep though. One and make use of this Aegis. Clears Mace for the rest of the team. Oh, that's Torrent Storm. Disarming a lot of them. And Torrent Storm bouncing off Game of Gladiators up Bear's there. dead. And this team fight is too much. No summon. The bear dies before Sorachio's back into play. Well, they're running out of firepower. Mick is low, but he's getting the heals out from Boxy. Is he able to stay alive here? Another tidal wave coming in, trying to help him out. The Discharm helps a bit, but they realize it. They have run out of power. They start retreating. They cannot save Mickey. They'll leave whoever is left behind. It's going to be three. Zai puts himself on the front lines there. Mita, they're going to pounce onto him. Seeing if they can chase him down, slow him down, pull him back in as much as possible. They're trying to reset. He did manage to get a blink away. Good so they reset. are really resetting off this one. The refresh immediately puts to use. Duracho. Oh, it's a mad fight. One fight against Big A. He's going to be able to win it. He is. No problems there whatsoever. And he doesn't give a damn about your water park ride, Mr. Kunkka. He's going to fight through this one. Oh, the rap's coming up. He's going to maybe be able to He gets a little bit of life going out, but Duracho is still up. The last little bit of damage coming out from Insania is not going to be enough. Duracho this time for set up in terms of the push power some sustain that Aghanim Scepter could ruin that entire concept coil underneath tower calling hits him a second time with the dead shot pushing him back in tofu is struggling in this mid lane getting outnumbered constantly not winning the rune battles Quinn outlaned him slightly and it created the advantage oh didn't get the silence off in time he got off the shikuchi as a result and now they're gonna turn Quinn's gonna show up with the astral steps and catch Zai Going for more now. Durachu offering the high five. He picks up in oh, It's going to be a little bit troublesome. Breaks the smoke move and goes for the pick off on a Tofu. It's not immediate. In fact, Insania, who tried to jump forward to finish him off, is going to be running into the silence. They trade out supports, though. Zai trying to find a target somewhere in this, only stomping up Celery, but Celery doesn't care. He's pretty tanky. In fact, he turns around. Mickey is going to be stalled up. They do manage to bring down the Wraith King the first time, while the Skyrath Mage is going to be left victim to Duraccio's aggression. Mickey now trying to get out, but too many heroes are there. A double kill for Quinn and a one for four exchange. For they continue to look for it, and Duraccio continues his hunting. Free. Yeah, he's got Decrepify, so he's going to be okay for Squishy a small too. window of time. The silence is lasting on to Duraccio. Oh, we barely got off that time lapse. That was a close call, but he does it. And because maybe he lives here, still hit by the coil. A little bit more damage is all they need. The Shukuchi lasts so long, though. They're going to try and put it to work on Zai once again, slowing down his Blink Dagger time and time stop again. This. The dead shot does not land. Can Quinn finish the job? He's going to jump in, but immediately gets Very stopped deep. up, stopped up, and the overextension. Oh, he's got just a little bit left. Oh, he gets away to simulate on out, and they cannot finish the job. Even Insani on the other side, Quinn doubles back, sees the support trying to get the kill, but he dances away freely, and now Insani has got himself killed as well. 2,000 HP on a mid. Seller oh, cuts him mid. off. But, oh, 10 HP, he does die in the end. Meanwhile, mid lane, they are fighting this one out. Quinn, one hit. once again, survives are just a little bit of damage. He actually went for that kill, you madman. The block, the shield is just enough. They get Celery out of it, but Mickey, he's going to be in trouble. As soon as Zai dies, they're going to turn all their attention over. This guy, the answer oh, cool. He gets it just on the tip, Quinn. Oh, you are going high ground. They're going to try and burst and take away that age as quick as possible. Not enough. Zai dies for... Pretty much nothing, because Durachu just shrugs off that damage with the time lapse. This is what will actually deal the damage in the fight. 
That's right. That radius back around. Instant silence okay. under the coil. Is it enough damage though? Once again, he's held in place, but he's too tanky. Mickey can't quite commit. Not with Gaming Gladiators. The rest of here is surging forward. They got that one kill. Immediate buyback though from Insania to hold this lane. A This will help us win everything. As oh, Nisha gets caught up by that one. Face shift. He's able to blink away. The calling's going to be a problem, but he does manage to blink. But straight in the arms of Duraccio. Easily takes up that kill and looks for more. Insania's going to be cleaned out. That's a dieback for him. Zai dies right next to the Fountain. Game and Gladiators are way too strong. Mickey is desperately trying to farm up a DKB, but he's one whole component away. Ace, Ace straight Ace back almost in. Almost one shotting Boxy. Ooh, barely it's even Prince. needed Quinn's help. Yeah, I mean, you've got to go with this meta. Five seconds on the cooldown for Mickey. Just praying he has enough time to get this, use it, make something happen. Let's grab him. Dies again. Zai. Where's the team? They're all dead. I yeah, mean, meta. Mickey against the world. Ace immediately going to jump onto him. Ace at Dota 2 has to off.